it got to a point when I was very close to the end of my career that I realized that what I was doing was, so to speak, closing the barn door after, you know, the cattle were out. So um, I, I wanted to start shifting the orientation of my district from an intervention model, like what do we do when we have these kids because they already crossed the line to how do we help them better regulate so they don't escalate and cross the line. And at that time I was very, very lucky and I was invited to a think tank meeting at Columbia University and the guest speaker was Mark Brackett from Yale University. And at that point he worked in the health, emotion and behavior lab at Yale and Robin Stern was there. And they talked about this program that they had developed called Ruler. And it really resonated with me. And I thought it was very interesting. I did a little more talking to Mark. I looked at some of the resources and I decided that I wanted to bring this into my district as a pilot. Mark totally disagreed. I had 58 schools spread out over 300, 58 school organizations spread out over 350 school sites in all five boroughs of New York. And Mark thought it should go into every single one of those places. And I wasn't ready to buy in yet, much to his chagrin. And I did do a pilot in six schools. And it was so successful that eventually I brought this into 26 of my schools that had children with a range of disabilities, including children that were on the um, autism spectrum. So um, what I was hoping to do was not to very much different from most schools, not looking to improve my math scores and my ELA scores on standardized tests. I was looking to help my students regulate their behavior to such a degree that they could return to that local school around the corner and go to school with their brothers and sisters. So, um, we started, you know, using ruler. I remember we <laughs> I remember that we started with Mark doing my keynote address when we came back to school one August. And I I had a huge organization. I had 13,000 employees. I rented an airport hangar at Floyd Bennett Field in Brooklyn. And Mark came to speak, and the acoustics weren't good enough. And he actually stood on a table and gave his keynote address standing on a table. And all of my principals wanted to be in the pilot, but I had an application process. I, they needed to tell me why they wanted this program. They needed to tell me what other SEL programs they had in their school, how this was going to align and supplement what they already had, not supplant and throw out anything that was working. And that's when we started with these six schools and then we kept adding and adding and adding. Mm -hmm.